Good morning and thank you for joining us again on A Walk With God. I'd like to uh, just put this message out. If you happen to stumble across this video and you are, you are struggling, you are suffering, and you are considering taking your own life, I just ask and pray to please stop right now and to focus all your thoughts and your prayers and to cry out to the Lord Jesus Christ. Just please, if you are in the midst of considering taking your own life, con considering suicide, please don't. Our Redeemer, our Savior, Jesus Christ loves you. I know you've probably even heard these words before, but He does. You see, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. If you do not know Jesus Christ, if you take your life, you will never enter heaven. Maybe you think that these words are, are tough. Maybe you think that these words are, are really hard to hear. But I pray that you please remember these words. Remember that if you, if you go through with taking your own life, you'll never, you'll never enter heaven. I know that's hard to hear, and I, I know that sometimes this world can be a, a terrible place, a very harsh place, a very evil place. But trust me, if you take your own life and you do not know the Savior, Jesus Christ, you will enter into a place of eternal damnation, of a, an eternal darkness, where the heat and the fire will never, never end. It's a place called hell. And if you think this world is bad right now, hell is the worst place in existence. Our own Savior, Jesus Christ, speaks of hell. This place is real. I know uh, there's a big church movement not even teaching about hell. Hell is real. And you do not want to go there. But if you're suffering, if you feel you cannot go another day, just know that Jesus loves you, that I love you. If you need prayer, my family would be just blessed to pray for you. And we'd be glad to communicate with you if, if that is something that you would, would like to have. But please do not take your life. You know, this, this time here on earth, our you know, 60, 70, 80, or possibly even 90 years. It's just a blink of an eye when you consider eternity. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years. Our Savior, He died for you. He gave His life for you. He paid the price for you as well. I'm not asking you... Uh, to get religious. I'm asking you to get Jesus Christ. I'm asking you to please give your life to Him. Surrender to Him. Call Him Lord. Call Him Savior. Cry out to Him. He will make a way for you. Your situation may not 100% change, but it might. But the one thing is you can go into eternity knowing that Jesus Christ is your Redeemer and your Savior and you'll, you'll meet Him in heaven, that you'll be in heaven with Him someday. So today, please, hear these words. Jesus Christ loves you and He does not want you to take His life. He, take, to take your life. He wants you to give your life to Him. Sin entered the world and that is why the world is the way it is. God did not make the world this way. God made a way for us to get out of this world in one piece and to enter the gates of His glorious kingdom. If you do not know how to uh, give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, it's very simple. First, just uh, acknowledge Him. Cry out to Him. Call out to Him. Just call out to the Lord Jesus Christ. And surrender your life to Him. And if 
maybe you know we talk about things about sin on this channel and you know because sometimes this world is so corrupt we don't even know what sin is anymore ask Jesus Christ to convict you about what sin is in your life and give those sins to him just confess them say Lord I've done this this and this and I, I and just please forgive me and he'll forgive you right then and to earnestly commit your life just to following him that's all it is. This is a relationship. This has nothing to do with the church. This has nothing to do with religion. Jesus Christ has nothing to do with religion. This is about a relationship between you and your Savior. You and Father God in heaven through the power of the Holy Spirit. You see, Abba Father in heaven. Father God sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to make a way to abolish sin once and for all. But it is in trust and believe in Jesus Christ. That is it. Being good. Being good will not save you. Doing a lot of good things will not save you. You know, living a, a, a life of, uh, of luxury, thinking that you have everything, that will not save you. It is only by the blood of Jesus Christ. So... I implore you, please, if you're, again, if you're considering taking your life, if you're considering su suicide, please do not do that. Jesus Christ loves you. He cares about you. Surrender your life to Him. If you've made the choice to surrender your life to Him and you acknowledge that He is Lord, that He is Savior, that you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ died on that cross and he made a way for all to enter heaven because you know all have sinned I'm not perfect I have I have sinned so many times I have fallen short so many times it is only by the grace God's grace and the love of Jesus Christ that I am saved it is not because I'm making these videos not because I'm a good person I'm far from good but my righteousness comes from Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And I'm so grateful. That's why I'm sharing this message. To please commit your life to Him. Again, this is not about religion. Religion says to do, Jesus Christ says done. When He died on that cross, He finished everything. You know, it may be that you end up going to a church, which is fine. As long as that church follows Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. 100%. No, pro no other prophets. Christ alone. Only Jesus. you got to remember that. If there's prophets involved in this religion, if there's you got to do all these extra special things outside the Bible, I'm telling you, run back into the arms of Jesus Christ. But just to reiterate what I said, if you're considering suicide, if you're considering taking your life, please don't. Jesus Christ loves you. He made a way for you to enter heaven. If you do not know Jesus Christ, if you take your life, you will not enter heaven. You'll go to a place of utter torment, of utter pain, of utter suffering for eternity. You do not want to go there. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross, that Jesus Christ rose from the dead three days later, and He is sitting at the right hand of the Son of God. Because right now, many believe, and me included, that we're living in the end days, and that's part of the reason why there's such a, a struggle going on. That's why there's so much pain, because we are living in the end times. I believe we are the last generation. And soon, very soon, our Savior, our Redeemer, will actually take us home. It's an event that Christ's followers call the rapture. And basically what it is, is Jesus Christ is going to remove all those who follow Him and take them to heaven with Him. And then the days that will follow right after that is... Christians call the Great Tribulation. And Scripture tells us it'll be the most 
terrible times throughout all of human history will begin to be unleashed upon the earth because the restrainer, the Holy Spirit, at that point will be removed off the earth and all hell will break loose on the earth. This is scriptural. This is not fairy tales. This is not some some crazy myth or fairy tale. This is true. This will happen. You can bypass all that. You can enter into a time, even though your situation may not 100% change, but it might. It may change immediately, but if it, if it doesn't change, just rest assured that Jesus loves you and you can live a life even in the midst of trials or in the, even in the midst of going through tar- tough times. Instead of taking your own life, if you give your life and commit your life to Jesus Christ, you could live in utter joy even though you're going through tough times here on earth. Until that great day comes. Until either you pass from this earth naturally or you know, maybe an accident or whatever may happen. But just knowing that the second you pass, you'll be entering into the loving arms of Jesus Christ and not into the torment of hell. Or also, if, we are, if you're still alive, when our Redeemer comes back, you'll be taken immediately to heaven with all those who love and follow Him. And I encourage you to listen to, um, I have several videos on this channel that talk about this. I've had many dreams as, as, as well as millions of Christ followers about His soon return. So please, today, don't take your own life. Surrender it to Jesus Christ. I promise you, if you commit your life to Him, if you surrender your life to Him instead of taking it yourself, He will make a way. He will show you a love that you've never known. But you've got you've to want it. You've got to follow Him. You've got to really trust and believe. I encourage you to get a Bible. And if you don't have a Bible, I'd be glad to send you one. But please, today, don't take your life. Give it to Jesus Christ. Commit it to Him. And He will save you. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. And as always, it is in the name and by the blood of the only one who can save, the only Son of God, Yahuwah, our blessed help, Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Bye-bye, guys.